booktube it's thea and it is about 6 45 on thursday may 2nd i am off tomorrow uh so i figured it'd be really fun to do another 24 hour readathon since i haven't done one in a couple months and i have a huge stack for may that i really want to read and i've been feeling kind of slumpy lately so i, I need something kind of to pick it back up again and, and feel excited about reading and uh with the 24 hour readathon i always feel like it gives me like the momentum to get going and i want to tackle um my may tbr and get a little early start on it so i figured it'd be really fun to do another 24 hour readathon take you guys along with me over the next 24 hours and what i plan on reading so um i really quick just wanted to pop in and kind of let you guys know what the plan is um, but I think first I'm going to pick up, first I'm going to pick up actually Aberat, um, by Clive Barker. This I started in April, but I never finished. I'm about halfway through and, um, I just never got around to finishing it in April. So I think this is going to be my main goal over the next 24 hours to, um, get a big chunk of this red. What Aberat is basically, it's this uh, kind of YA-ish uh, fantasy, kind of dystopian sci-fi um, about a uh, that follows our main character Candy Quackenbush as she discovers that this world that, that there was this as she discovers that there's that there is this world called the Aberat, which consists of multiple islands, and every island is a different hour of the day, and uh, she kind of discovers that she holds the key to something. Um, there's an evil that she has to soon face and and, uh, and battle. And I'm about halfway through. I'm really enjoying it so far. Uh, Clive Barker has a pretty great imagination and it is a really detailed writing style. And so you really, there is some really great world building and character development, um, but it has been slow at parts. So it's not something that is super fast paced, at least that it hasn't been for me. And so it's taken me quite a while to read it, but I definitely think I'm going to focus on this in the next 24 hours and at least get a, a good chunk of this read. So I'm going to, well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and eat dinner, but I will check in with you guys a little bit later when it's time for me to sit down and start reading. Hey guys, so it's about 8.40. I am just getting ready to sit down to pick up Aberat. I um, ended up watching uh two episodes of the originals instead of one episode so it is later than i wanted it to be but i'm going to go ahead and sit down and try to power through as much of this as possible i will check in with you guys in a little bit um i've got but i'm gonna try to just read as much as possible and until you know i, I either get through it or make a good chunk of it i do have my caffeine here so we're gonna power through as much as i can tonight and i will Checking with you guys, I will keep you up to date on my progress. Check in later. sleep don't want to put in like a full eight hours of sleep because I definitely want to try to finish it I think I've got like 150 pages left but I need a little power nap because I'm uh, losing some energy so I think I'm gonna need to sleep for a couple hours I set an alarm and get up and then uh, power through the last 150 pages or so but um, it took an interesting turn um, and kind of has become super unexpected I don't really know where the story is gonna go from here um, but I'm actually super intrigued to read it, and so I've got some, um, I picked up some momentum and, and finishing this, and I'm really, really intrigued to finish this, so I'm going to take a little power nap, and I will see you guys in a couple hours.
I fell asleep. <laughs> um, it's like 6.30 and I haven't gotten any reading done because I definitely passed out and uh, didn't wake up. So I figured I would just start reading now. I'm going to go make some coffee and um, try to finish the last 100 pages of our app today. Um, but I will check with you guys a little bit later. off I still have chores to do so I've been kind of spacing it out in the last couple hours I've been reading a chapter and then I went into the dishes read a chapter straightened up the bedroom and um, now I'm back I'm going to finish the last 40 pages um, but I'm really excited to see where it ends so I will check with you guys a little bit later <music> So I just showered and I finally finished Aberat by Clive Barker. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Starting out, it was three stars. Um, and then by the time I finished it, it was like a 3.5, 3.75 stars. Not quite a four stars because it did have some parts in the, in the middle that was slow. Um, but I really, really enjoyed it. I am finally, I'm really, really happy that I finally finished it. Um, and I'm going to go uh, eat my um, breakfast slash lunch, watch an episode of the originals, and then I will check back in with you guys with my next read. It's about 12.30. I am actually getting ready to head out. Um, my boyfriend and I are going to go to our local comic book store uh, because I need some fresh air. I've been cooped up all day, and um, after... After finishing Domino the other night, a spoiler uh, for a, a sneak peek into my May wrap up, but after finishing Domino the other night, I I really want to pick up, I really want to pick up a second volume, um, so I think we might go pick that up and we'll go look around, but I figured I would bring you guys along with me so you guys will see some clips of the comic book store and I will check in with you guys a little bit later.
or so we got back from the uh, comic book store and uh, we did pick up two things I'm very very excited that I finally picked up Fence Volume 2 it has been like out of stock since it came out um, and they finally got it and I'm so excited I cannot wait to read this um, volume 1 is absolutely adorable it's one of my favorite reads when I read it um, and I cannot wait to dive into volume 2 and then, and then we also picked up Hawkeye Volume 2, Little Hits. Uh, we've had Volume 1 for a few years, um, and we just recently decided that we were going to pick up the rest of the series, so we picked up Hawkeye Volume 2, and we're really excited to read this as well. Um, volume 1 was really, really good, so I'm really excited to continue on with both of these series. Um, so these are just the, the two things that we picked up on this trip, but I'm really excited to read both of them to myself um and I figured it'd be perfect time to I figured it's a time to kind of pick something else up to read during this like 24-hour readathon I am very quickly running out of time in this 24-hour readathon, 24 readathon so let's go over to my May TBR and figure out what I want to read next I think I'm gonna pick up Uncanny Avengers Volume 1 The Red Shadow um this is one of the graphic novels that's on May TBR for May and I've had this on my shelf for quite a while. It's not super thick, so I don't think it'll take very long to read. And I'm in Super Marvel Avengers kick right now, so I think this is going to be what the next thing that I pick up.
guys. Uh, it's about 7.30, so it's been a few hours since you guys have seen me. I actually have done no reading since you saw me. Um, I ended up editing and uploading a uh, unboxing, which is up on my channel, so go check it out now. It's my April Blue Spider Books unboxing. Um, and then I'm just sitting down to eat dinner and I'm going to watch an episode of the originals. So, I don't know if I'm going to squeeze in another graphic novel before this readathon is ending. I don't really know what's happening the rest of the night. Um, I might just extend it to more... I just, might just extend it because it's my readathon and I think I could get another uh, graphic novel read tonight. But um, I am really just wanting to... To sit and watch an episode while I eat dinner, um, and then I'll probably pick something up afterwards, so I'll probably just extend it to what, until when I go to bed, so it'll be more than 24 hours, but um, it's my readathon, so I can change the rules. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just watch this episode of the original, eat my dinner, and I will check with you guys a little bit later. Bye. So it's the end of Monday, um, I'm home from work, and I figured I would kind of film a wrap-up for this 24-hour readathon since I didn't get a chance to wrap up Sunday night, since I didn't get a chance to wrap up last night, and I honestly really didn't do any more reading. Um, I ended up just kind of eating dinner and watching the originals, and I pretty much crashed early, um, but I really quickly wanted to show you guys the two things that I did read for the 24-hour readathon, and that is Uncanny Avengers Volume 1, The Red Shadow. I read all 136 pages for the readathon, and they were I ended up giving this like three stars, reading 216 pages in Abrette by Clive Barker, which is pretty impressive because it took me almost a month just to read 200 pages in this, so getting this, getting 200 pages read this in uh, less than about 24 hours was kind of my main goal, and I'm glad I finally finished this. I'm giving this like a 3.5, 3.75 stars, so the... So the read at the 24 hour readathon was a success. I feel like I definitely could have read more if I pushed myself, but I'm really proud of what I have accomplished. So I ended up reading, I ended up reading a total of 352 pages in a matter of 24 hours, which is more than I generally read. Um, so pushing myself to finish Aberat was a huge accomplishment for the month. Enjoyed this like casual 24 hour readathon. Let me know in the comments below what you're reading, um, if you're doing a 24 hour readathon soon, if you like 24 hour readathons, or if you just prefer like week readathons. Any thoughts, comments, and opinions about anything, let's chat it up in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!